The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us eternal life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever say this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts and ask you to make them by the power of your Holy Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, perfect sacrifice for all mankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, calling to mind the death of your Son, endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with St. Bartholomew, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints with him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior has taught us, so we pray.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters in Christ, draw now, draw near and receive his body which he gave for you, his blood which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Gracious Lord, that we so eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Now let us say together our post-communion prayer. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you and all persons in you with gladness and singleness of heart through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who journey the way with us. So be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and always stand in solidarity with the poor and the oppressed. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.